I believe that education is a lifelong goal. It isn't something that stops when you turn a certain age or when you reach a specific milestone. It sticks with you, forms you into who you are, and shapes what you believe. I had a unique experience with education. I was born into a family of educators. My grandparents owned and operated a school that I was able to attend. In my time there, I grew to love learning. It wasn't a time when I didn't want to go to school. I didn't fake sick to stay home. Maybe it was the type of education. Maybe it was the teachers. Regardless of the reason, I was encouraged from a young age to ask questions, to think critically, and to keep an open mind. These are qualities that, at first glance, many would agree with. Yet in practice, they've been pushed to the back burner. We've entered an age of American redefinition. Facing unknown horizons, our country is seeking an ideal on which to anchor itself. Everyone is clamoring to determine where they belong and what they fit into. I sought that place where I was accepted. When I got there, I felt a thousand pounds lighter. I could socialize, connect, and interact with others who shared my beliefs. But in that comfort, I fell prey to this force that stands opposed to the expansion of the mind. Complacency. My inevitable failure loomed over me. How could I ever hope to understand anything? I was narcotized by the size and scope of the world around me. I'm only one person, so what's the point? I'll settle in and carve out a life for myself on the American dreamboat. The news depressed me, and new experiences were uncomfortable, unknown, and avoided. I had what I was instructed to learn. I thought that that would make me happy. Then, one day, alone in my freshman dorm in the late hours of the night, I let something go. I gave up trying to quantify how much I knew. I gave up trying to be right. I realized that then and there, to be the best that I could be, to make a difference, to leave behind a better place than I had found, it all comes back to knowledge. I don't mean the knowledge that we learn in school, not the facts in textbook or the data on sheets. The knowledge I seek is found in the conversations that we share. This is the knowledge that's in the music that we listen to. It's in the games that we play, the places that we go, and the food that we eat. These experiences are the ultimate teacher. To be limited to what one knows is a constraint a million times more binding than any social pressure. Education, knowledge, and experience are liberation. I believe in learning forever. I believe in the Renaissance man. I believe in a Renaissance generation.